New test scores assessed by the Texas Education Agency show students are about six months behind in their coursework. The agency blames the switch to remote learning paired with the typical summer slide. KXAN education reporter Alex Capriello shows us how school districts are getting them back on track. Remote learning has its perks, like taking classes in your PJs on the couch, but it's also challenging. I still have a hard time remembering what some things that I learned from third grade. I mean, I've never been good at math, and it being like remote just makes it harder. Algebra, along with middle school math, science, and U.S. history, all tested low in recent TEA assessments. The agency blames the sudden drop to remote learning in March from the pandemic. We had to make choices about what we were going to teach students and what we were going to let go. In Leander ISD, topics students missed in those final months of the spring are being shifted elsewhere, like Texas history. What might have been taught at the end of the fourth grade may now move to the seventh grade when social studies covers it again. It really is about looping the curriculum and providing those foundational skills where it makes the most sense for kids. You're talking about curriculum changes that are happening years down the road. Years down the road. The good news, Texas is no further behind than the rest of the nation. So school officials say to just keep studying. I've talked to my friends. They feel the same way that like everyone's behind. And remote's definitely harder than in person. Alex Capriello, KXAN News. These assessments were not used against school districts for accountability purposes. The TEA says they should be used by districts and teachers to implement strategies for the future.